Hi YouTube and my 950 subscribers. Isn't it amazing that right back in December 2020 and just before that when I first set up this account I only had like five, six, seven subscribers. Thank you everyone for subscribing and watching my videos in time. I'm trying to reach to a thousand and one at least so if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please do, it's free. So um, this is a bit of a pick-me-up uh, video for people who are suffering the smear campaign and the associated stalking, trolling and false allegations that goes with it. I have a lovely friend, a lovely chap on Twitter who regularly just feels like he's had enough. I have um, another friend on Twitter who is a bit more buoyant and, and kind of seems a bit more resilient um, but he too has uh, a stalker um, although I don't believe he had a relationship with this person, but and in fact, I know he didn't because he's gay. Um, and of course there's me, uh, still really fighting the demon that is false allegations and uh, exaggerations and lies and, 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 and covert stalking. And I thought I would like to see this video that I'm just about to do for you. I would like someone to tell me how to cope with this. And I'm not going to be patronising and I'm not going to tell you kind of stiff up a lip and, uh, you know, just keep being you. Um, because at times it is, it feels so heavy and relentless and you're exhausted when you're being stalked and smeared because you're looking everywhere for, for what next, what next crap or exaggeration this person, this person is going to make. But you're also then dealing with the actual false allegations and the exaggerations and the lies. And you're sitting there thinking, can they see this? Are they reading this? Have they watched that? Have they got their friends to watch that? Are they watching it? Are they going to watch it later? Have they downloaded it? Are they going to edit it? You're hyper vigilant, okay? Like any abuse victim, this is a type of abuse, okay? It's criminal behaviour. It's a type of abuse. So we would be perfectly, if that's my son, we would be perfect. Sorry, I'm doing a YouTube video. We would be perfectly allowed to say that we're abuse victims of these people who have been stalking us and harassing us and lying about us because it is abuse. They're abusing us through courts, they're abusing us through uh, the reporting systems on social media, they're abusing us through smearing us and lying about us and trying to ruin our jobs and our careers and our reputations and our families and our relationships and just our day. Just ruining our day. Um, it's abuse. And the, the stalkers have to know that, okay? You might not be hitting us or slapping us or strangling us, but you're abusing us, okay? So I'm gonna validate those of you who are like me. Take the dog's lead off. It sounds like he's, <laughs> he's doing the Winter Olympics. Can you take the lead off, please? Um, and <laughs> my life, um, it, it, it's abuse. This is abuse, it's manipulation, it's used to cause harm, it's repetitive harm. They know it hurts us and we want them to stop, therefore it's abuse. So I'm validating you, you're being abused, right? You're not just being stalked, you're not just being smeared, you're not just being bullied, trolled and lied about, okay? You're being abused, okay? You are allowed to be upset, you are allowed to be angry, you're allowed to react and you are allowed to report this stuff, okay? Just because a court or a police officer or a social worker or your mental health professional doesn't, Sunny, I'm doing a video, um, doesn't believe you, right? Doesn't matter, it didn't happen. I stand with Amber Heard on that one. Um, you know what has happened to you, you know. And you will probably have loads and loads of evidence. But if your stalker's good and covert and manipulative and had friends in high places, well, frenemies in high places, um, fake friends in high places, you, 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 you will feel so disbelieved. I believe you. Because nobody, nobody wants to be stalked, trolled and smeared. Nobody, especially if you've come out of a narcissistically abusive relationship, you need more peace than you would get on a desert island if you were mooring there on your own and it had no animal inhabitants, right? That's how much peace you want. You don't want to lie and cause trouble and make a fuss, right? You just want to go right into yourself, okay? So you are, you are allowed to react to this and feel really, really, really upset and really stressed out, okay? I validate you in that. Um, the other thing I wanted to say was that, um, someone's interrupted me. Um, 
Right, so back to it, after a big argument about poo bags for the dogs. Um, so, you're being abused, you're allowed to be upset, you're allowed to be angry, you're allowed to have feelings, you're allowed to have off days, you're allowed to feel suicidal, you're allowed to feel depressed and anxious, and you're allowed to hate the person that's doing this to you. This person is choosing every single day to think about you, obsess about you, hate you, and do everything possible within their power to show that to you, okay? And like I say, you don't need to just, you don't even need to fight it. You have to just exist. So this is the little thing I'm just going to tell you. So this is something I discovered very recently. Uh, stalkers, and I've got two, okay. I've got two ones that I particularly focus on because they particularly focus on me. There's another kind of creepy guy called Dave Brown, but he can just do his own thing and maybe apologise to his wife for stalking somebody hot like me and about 10 years younger. Uh, anyway, so the other two stalkers, uh, what, I, what I've noticed is that they melt under pressure, okay? Because they've spent so long lying, okay, and manipulating and watching and waiting and planning and plotting, that when it really comes to the crunch, they struggle. They struggle, well, of course they struggle telling the truth because all this stuff's based on lies, but they struggle communicating, right? They're intimidated, so they might get you involved in the justice system or the police system or the social care system or the mental health system they might get you to a point where you're just you're in trouble or you've melted down and you're ruined it's almost like they can't cope with actually getting what they wanted like they don't have they need to be hidden they need to be behind fake accounts they need to be the victim they need to be lying and as soon as the, the dynamic changes slightly and they suddenly have to become say uh, a witness or they have to make a police statement or they have to tell their story to a newspaper or they write a book on it which by the way mine haven't done it's never gonna happen <laughs> um, they melt because like all bullies and abusers their ego is built on lies and self-gratification and risk-taking and impulse control and nonsense and hating you. So when all that power is taken away, they melt. It's like unplugging a you know a phone charger, the phone goes flat. You know, they're not filling the car with fuel. You're giving them fuel by being upset and angry online. But you're also, in a weird way, giving them fuel by just existing. They need you. These people, these stalkers that are upsetting you guys on Twitter, Okay, and upsetting me in the real world, um, and upsetting millions of people all over the world. They need us. They need, and it's like a hobby, a toxic, creepy hobby. They need to check our pages every day. They need their friends checking our pages. They need to be able to say that we've done something to them and this to them and that to them. No matter how lie-packed it is, they need this. Because we're talking of years and years and years of them feeling insignificant and not important. Yeah, we make them important. We give them something to do. We give them something to complain about. We give them something to watch and think about and talk about and gossip about and lie about. We give them supply by merely existing. And they will continue to stalk and smear because they need us. They need us. We are everything that they need. We're everything they want to be. We're everything that reminds them of what they really are. So one day, one day, you might get to speak your truth and they'll just crumble. They'll slur their words. They'll not be able to answer questions. There'll be lots of ums and ahs and ah because they're thinking a polite answer to the question. There'll be weird sort of... Uh, uh, inconsistent answers and um, when they're challenged online um, there's inappropriate reactions there's excessive reactions because we are honest normal people right and I mean normal not by an insult because I don't ever want to be normal I just want to be happy and healthy and kind um, we we disrupt their existence because we are happy healthy and kind and we disrupt their existence because we are not turning into them and we disrupt their existence because we are not like them, have never been like them, and will never be like them. So while you're being stalked, I've got hiccups because I've had a big massive mushroom burger because I'm still doing vegan. 
Um, while we exist, we make stalkers and liars and flying monkeys very, very, very unhappy. So when you feel sad, suicidal, frustrated, and like you can't go on, just remember this video. Have a great day.